Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Empyrean Galactic uh, survival video. <coughs> Sorry, I lost my words there for a moment. Uh, in the uh, Reforged Eden scenario pack, it has been uh, a bit of time since the last video, but hoping to get back on track. Uh, I won't place any guarantees like I've tried last time because that's never worked out for me in my case. So, uh, I've just had to deal with some I IRL things, and, uh, funny enough, yesterday was my, uh, birthday, so I had that too. So, I was definitely in the mix of multiple things going on here and there, but, uh, I'm hoping to get back on track again, as I, as I mentioned. Uh, currently... In the previous episode, you saw me having to debug and uh, fix up a lot of things because uh, I, my cargo bus, which was designed originally by Dandex Play Games, Dawn from Dandex Play Games, uh, and then I recreated my modifications to it. Um, my uh, my uh, small vessel was destroyed by an oncoming attack as you also saw in the episode before that and i've been in the background a little bit here and there to fix any bugs that might have been happening in the game like there were there were stuck ships in the air so i had to destroy those i had to uh I had to uh, make sure that the base invasion was flowing nicely because it was stuck in limbo. Uh, there, there were a couple things that weren't working right, but I think everything's back to normal. And in the background, I did put together a new Exowing, so we can still go out to space. It's just this time around. Especially during missions, I'm going to have to be a lot more aware of my surroundings, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to get on that. Um, let's see, I'm going to make, I'm going to make some fuel packets, because I don't think we have any fuel left does not appear to be so, so we're going to just craft a little bit of that up. Let's take a look at some ammo. Base ammo is fine. I'm gonna need or does the base use this? Fifteen one twenty seven rounds. It does. So I need to craft up some of that while I'm at it as well, because I'm going to need some for my craft. However, it's definitely not the most effective material, or uh, weapon. Um, as I'm starting to realize that I'm going to have to build more effective ships for this scenario pack, because... The drones themselves are very difficult. Oh, oh, it looks like we have some fuel cells right there. Uh, the drones themselves are very, very sturdy, and shooting them with normal weaponry... Oh, crap. Uh, my bad. I must have forgotten something. Um, I need to make a CPU core now. Uh, energy regulators. I'm sorry about this. I completely forgot that my ship did not contain uh, the proper CPU. Um, I need to make an energy regulator. Oh, of course. I'm low on cobalt. Do I not have any cobalt? Apparently, I do not contain the necessary cobalt, so I'm going to have to do some scrounging around. 
Oh well, I mean, at least that gives us something to do. Um, especially after having our ship just blown out of space. Uh, maybe we might get lucky and there might be some over at the abandoned, uh, vessel yard here. I can only hope, because I've scrapped a crap ton of stuff. Oh, there goes a rocket siege drone. Drones and such love to get stuck in midair for some random cause. I think when they attempt to leave a chunk that is unloaded, it uh it gets stuck. And so doing so it just doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Uh I want there we go. Alright, if you just heard that buzz, my uh, dryer on the left of me has just uh, finished trying some clothes. I, I, uh, I apologize for that, if you heard that. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I've really scrapped up this base. Problem is, is I don't think I'm going to find anything made of cobalt here. Or at least containing energy regulators. Let's go downstairs, shall we? Turn the light on. Uh, let's see here. No, no. I, I really tore this place apart. Just a bunch of radiation now. Uh, let's see. Let's... No, salvage. That's just optical fiber. Probably gonna have to scrounge around for another place to uh, receive any other kinds of components because this place is just all torn to heck. Nah, that's just electronics. Can't use that, not for what I'm going for. Okay. It's probably time that we did a little more salvaging. Ziggurat. Ooh, what happened to my... Wow, okay. My, uh turning radius was stopped there for a moment. Must have ran into a tree or something. Now, I can stop off here into the radiated area and hope that there's some more cobalt deposits there. But there's no guarantee because I did heavily uh, uh, scavenge the area for cobalt in the making of my uh, new axle wing. So there's no guarantee that I'll find cobalt there. But we'll take a look and see if we can find any structures nearby. Wow, why, why is my why is my hover vehicle not staying in the air? There's some really funky things going on with hovercrafts recently. Sometimes it gets shoved into the water, sometimes it gets, it just loses its levitation and shoves itself into the ground. I don't know if that's a bug with the scenario or a bug with the game. Now we'll be looking for little bearings, kind of like this one, but not that blue, that's Prometheum. be looking for like gray rocks to have like a blue set of markings on it and uh, that one is silicon this is a radiated area so you will gain radiation
Doesn't look like there's any bearings. Oh, uh, well. I could look around the entire area, but I don't think I want to. Since I've already scoured it. However, there's some energy signatures and unknown signals up here, so... We might be lucky in finding some old decrepit buildings to salvage, hopefully. Maybe we'll even find like a capital ship to scavenge up. <laughs> There's no ammo in the ammo container, but the turret's still seeking foes to shoot. Yep, there it goes. It's trying to shoot at something. I should actually have that turret turned off because it's not being used. Devices. Oh, what the? Okay, spider. Have it your way. Oh, an ancient health post. It should be good. There's lots of energy signatures here that I haven't discovered, so maybe we can make a scavenging day out of this. Oh, that kind of ancient health. Don't know if I can find anything here, but I can sure try. Get off my ship. Scat! Get out of here. I will take your meat though. Good for cooking. Well, that spider just jumped at me. However, it didn't attempt to attack. Thank you! I will take that. Whoop. Sensitivity is a little odd in this game, too. I tried to make it a little faster so that I could catch up, but since I'm using a trackball, and this game sensitivity is as interesting as it is. I had to scroll a few times. Um, I don't think I'll find anything in here. I'm gonna pick up a few blocks just to see what happens. These are just points, this is just a point of interest that you can look at, not particularly, uh, not particularly scavenged for anything worthwhile. <clears throat> this unknown signal is, well actually this one's closest, we'll go for this one. Polaris territory. I thought I was entering Xerox territory for a moment. Ah, this has got to be a, a node. Yep, that's a copper node. Not what we're looking for. I think, I think the unknown signals are just going to be material nodes, probably. I could be wrong. Well, as far as I know, I think they're gonna be 
Yeah, that one's on iron. Ooh. That is a red energy signature. We're going to investigate it. Probably gonna be some Xerox space. Oh no, it's an ancient temple. Well, maybe this has the components we're looking for. Oh, uh, oh, it's one of these. Lots of spiders. Those with arachnophobia. You might not like this. However, sadly this game is as if you've seen previous <laughs> it's full of spiders. Everywhere. Oh, and raptors. as you are. Finally, that was a tough one. I didn't just I hope I didn't damage my craft any. Uh no. No. Well maybe just in one area, but it's fine. I'm running out of shotgun shells. I should have made more. Well, that's effective use of each shell. And let's see, that's a lot of meat. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, solve this. So many spiders. I'm running out of shotgun shots, so I'm gonna have to start using assault rifle. Why is it that these spiders aren't attacking me? It seems kind of odd. More meat. More plants is always good, then I'll be able to grow more stuff, especially when it comes to a uh, capital ship. And we can grow stuff out in space as we're traveling. Here, it's downstairs. Careful eating mushrooms, they can give you a bad trip. Big ones over here. However, again, these spiders are neglecting to attack me. I have no idea why. This could be a side effect from the update, maybe, or maybe these AI and this PI were not programmed appropriately. I don't exactly know, but we'll just see what goes. That's the light switch. Okay, that just turns the light on and off. I've been to this POI before. I think it does have some pretty good things in it, but it also has some pretty mean baddies. So we'll just go up here. Lots of 
broken bridges around here. Oh. I do not like these scorpions. Yet again, this is kind of a lackluster experience because I think I've experienced this last time I came to this POI. These enemies just don't recognize me and they just don't attack. Wait a minute. Why is this... Did it really get damaged by my bullets? I wouldn't think so. Let that activate. Activated something, that's for sure. More spiders! So, uh, you just gonna stand there and look ugly? Yeah, I have no idea. But I'm not gonna take too much of a chance of them turning on me on the blink of an eye, either. Gosh, you guys are up. Turn around, I see your ugly face. Freaking puts the hairs on my neck on on end. Oh. I don't know if I want to go there just yet. I activate a switch there. Gotta be aware of switches. Ooh. Decontamination kit. That'll come in handy. Okay. Oh. Maybe do one shortcut. Ah, oh, okay. I can still go back. I thought it was just going to close up on me and that'd be it. Hello? What's this? Armored concrete. I can retrieve this. Huh. This place is not owned. How peculiar. So... I can salvage some blocks. There's some plant fibers. Can I access the... I can't. Good. Okay. So, I have plant fibers. Except, I don't think... Hmm. Can't access this. Or wait. Can I not access... No, I can't access the crafting machine. I have to have to be looking at it or be near it. I don't think that food's gonna last either. Oh, I hadn't even turned on the freaking vehicle, so I don't think I would have been able to use the crafting machine anyways. I didn't leave it on idle, I just turned it off and sat it there. I'm gonna have to go this way, but I'm gonna have to be very careful. Oh! <laughs> so much for being careful. <laughs> Apparently sprinting is a bad idea because you might catch an edge. Alright, well, lesson learned. Come on. I don't know what that was. How I caught an edge like that, but I did. Oh. Well. I guess that trap door there was just meant for me to uh, return in case I fell. You there. Perish. And you can perish. Even though you 
don't want to fight me, apparently. Like, yeah, they're friendly. Yet they indicate there's enemies. I sure hope this doesn't go on for the rest of the game, but I do believe I remember this happening in this very point of interest. I do apologize for the lackluster experience in this point of interest. I know it's not my fault, it's... It just... Eh. I, I feel like I could be recording something a little better, but... Currently, this is what I'm caught in doing at the moment. God dang. I mean, at least you can't take a closer look at these things, but. So ugly. Wait a minute. Uh, a few shells left? Yeah, two shells. How do those shots completely miss? How odd. Okay, I I don't care anymore. Let's go for the loot. Aluminum ore? That's new to me. Uh cargo bus. Did get another advanced multi tool. Mm, found some iron ingots. Weapon kit. Nothing. Nothing that we're exactly looking for. Ah! <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna play that game with me again. Last time I did this, the container blew up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shortcut my way towards the container. Uh-huh. Holy moly, take a look at that. Small optronic bridge, 19 promethium hydrocells, and an advanced mobility booster. Me like, I'll take it. Okay, so let's make sure my guess was right. Ah. Huh? Ah, I bet you, I bet you. What happened last time when I was in this POI? Not all the switches were flipped. And so they added a safeguard to uh to the box. If you entered the area in any other way, that box would detonate if you didn't activate all the switches. I think that's what happened. That sounds like what would happen. All right. We came here, we got an ultra rare, and we got a really nice mobility booster. I'll take that. However, it should have been a lot harder with the enemies actually attacking us, so it's kind of kind of one of those things that are a hit and miss, I guess you could say. Let's this pathway go. Oh, this just leads all the way to the bottom in case you fell off the uh, bridges all right let's let's take a look at something else and maybe uh maybe we'll have better better luck getting an actual fight but i will take those optronic bridges and mobility booster it's gonna be real nice all right so armor locker that mob Oh, I shoved it back into the uh, cargo bus. So, that's going to give us 0 0.2 extra speed, acceleration, and 0 0.5 jump height. It does up a food consumption, 
by an amount. But it might be worth a trade off later on when we need it. Oh, and before I do anything, I'm gonna open up that fridge. I'm gonna slap this food. Or at least everything that I want to put in there. And we're going to the hover constructor. Select the mini fridge and cook up all that meat because you know grilled steak is good for the tum tum. Good to maintain that healthy amount of calories. Um. Oh right, you scan for the other POIs. Duh. There's an energy signature. However, I think those are just going to be. Ah, we better scan them anyways because it's better to have them known than be unknown. Oh, oh. that's part. Of that's part of their uh, property over there. I'm not going to worry about that one. I am going to worry about this energy signature. About two kilometers away though, so... It's going to be a small clip. You know, for an indie game though... Graphics aren't that bad. You know, they're not like top of the line graphics, but they're not bad. They still look pretty. Which is pretty easy to appreciate, at least. I'm sure it'll get better and better as the development goes on. Kind of makes me eager as to see what they have in store in terms of updated graphics and animation work and such like that. They've got all the core systems down, which is what makes the game as fun as it does, or as it is. Uh, it has its own charms and quirks, just like any other game would. Ooh, the debris field. I don't think I've ever come across one of these. I am noticing the cargo bus is slowed down heavily. That could be the supplies in the back. Oh! Well, I'm surprised that turret isn't active. Have any ammo? Does not. Okay. Large capacitor. Ventilator. Okay, so there's, th there's things here that we can salvage. I'll connect. Uh, oops. There we go. Okay. Grab some of this up. Especially this turret. Nice. Fair amount of components. Grab as much electronics as we can. Where does this lead into? Ooh, well, hello there. Wave transmitter, ventilator, more components. No, no, no loot. No loot, just salvageables. Ooh, well, hello. Now we have loot. Some ammo. Adrenaline shot. That's a food processor. Uh, 
more food press. Wow, these are like containers. Or not containers, but or no yeah. These are like uh storage containers that a capital ship would carry. All of its prized possessions. Except I'm not seeing too much in terms of prize, but just possessions. to that. Oh, no. I've already salvaged that one. Oh, a cryo chamber. Ew. This one. This one. This one's a little infected. Makes you wonder if this is how uh, the uh, ancient infestation came to be on this planet. Pistol rounds. Not exactly what I'd want, but it'll, it'll, it's something. Uh, is there anything down here? Oh. No, it, it's just a landing pad. Okay. I mean, we found some components. However... That doesn't fix my energy regulators problem that I need, does it? Did I find any energy regulators? No, I did not. Well, that's too bad. I am noticed noting a much heavier <laughs> heavier load now because the cargo bus is definitely slowed down a bit we're gonna go over here to the next energy signature we're gonna scan that unknown signal over there that silicon deposit we don't need that right now I'm ready to go out in space. I know everybody watching may want to see what the space is like and what's out there because that's just that's the main part of the game. But being shot down like that, it really puts a damper on what uh, you can do. <laughs> I really want to delve deeper into this reforged Eden, but again. When, uh, when the game takes a sharp turn like that and throws a curveball in your path, it's just... It really bites. I'm trying my best not to do any cheating because I just feel that it'd be unfair. As easy as it could be to just say, Oh, hey, let's cheat this in so that we can continue. It's just... It's not fair. The only reason I would cheat is if I lost something due to uh, unnatural reasons, such as losing the cargo bus, or maybe the game is bugged all the heck, as you saw in the debugging episode. That's the only time I'll enable cheats and be like, okay, we need to fix this, this, and this, and that, you know. Oh, hey! This building looks like it's all decked. Well, would be all decked out if it were still standing. It's an ancient shelter. And it has a solar capacitor. No energy regulators though. I guess I could collect some of this glass too. Glass is useful as a form of uh Silicon, I believe. Oh, titanium plates. I'll take that. Whoops. I wanted the glass, not the cement. Hmm. Well, not much more than that, I assume. Whoa. Ah. Hopes were high for a moment, like 
I wanted to see an underground. I wanted to see if there was any more loot. But the sanctioned building doesn't seem to carry, uh, doesn't offer much in, in the ways of that. Let's hope we can find another energy signature. Let's head this way then. Maybe we'll find another signature somewhere over here. Hoping we do because I'm not having no luck finding just regular cobalt ingots or energy regulators. There's an unknown signal, but that typically means that it's an ore. It's never seemed to be any sort of abandoned building or lost structure of any type. Oh, well, what's this over here? We have a sort of teal energy, colored energy signature. This ought to be interesting. I'll need to go investigate. I'm so glad this thing can still pick up a bit of momentum. Oh. There's a Xerax aerodrome nearby. business to do with that thing. I do not have any ammo. That's another radiated zone? It's another radiated zone. We might be able to... That's a gold deposit. There's gold on this planet? When has there been gold on a starter planet? Legacy. Okay. Well, we're finding something interesting. Let's say that for sure. However, I do not like how close that minigun drone is. for anything though. Something could pop out at us. Yeah. Oh. Yep, and this stuff actually wants to fight us. So the game is not entirely broken. It's just that point of interest. Oh my goodness. That got tense for a moment there. I might not panic like most people. I, I When I panic, I'm usually very quiet. Unless something really scares the crap out of me. Good. Now you belong to me. Sort of. Wait a minute. Oh. I thought somehow I went over my limit. Ooh. 
Okay, that was too close for comfort there. He could have really left me with an open wound. I'm glad I was able to scrounge up that uh, tank down there, though. Alright, yeah. Looks like the cargo bus has finally hit its peak. Uh, however, the food needs to go into the mini bridge. So, I mean, that won't free up much, but it'll help. And let's put some ores inside the harvest container. That'll help free up a bit of space. We do have a bit of cobalt alloy, but we have no way of turning it back into uh, cobalt ingots. Um. Yeah, it requires just straight up cobalt ingots, so we are in a radiated zone. That's a promethium deposit. That's what that drone's defending. I do want a piece of this gold deposit. It doesn't offer very much, but it's worth grabbing. Might be a mistake. Uh, it's so heavy, it's hard to control. Must get, must get control. Well, that wasn't very much gold, but it, it certainly. Uh, it'll certainly help with something. Now we just gotta get ourselves unstuck from our little predicament here because, uh, you know, this thing's so gosh darn heavy. You would think, though, that the back end would start slanting down, not the forward. for it to crawl on out. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Just back up. Uh. Uh. Not quite. I can't escape. Oh. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You almost got it. No, no, don't go forward. <laughs> okay, what I need to do here is get this thing turned around because apparently it's not, it doesn't have enough backward thrust. I don't even know if it has enough forward thrust. Out. 
goodness for having any form of drill, period. Oh, thank goodness. Well, we got the gold. We got the gold. We got the craft out. That's all that matters. Alright. One thing we do need to look for is some cobalt while we're here. Because this should have some fresh nodes available. Ah, I'm running into everything. This vehicle's so heavy with material right now. It's hard to stop. It slides. I'm not seeing any cobalt. Yet this place is massive. There's gotta be some cobalt around here somewhere. Gotta be some cobalt. If there isn't, I'm gonna be pretty upset because this biome is pretty massive. There should be lots of it. There's lots of pentax and crystals, that's for sure. ugly bug. Big ugly. Don't like big ugly. Big ugly can uh, apply dermal burns. Wow! It's like a radiated area but with no cobalt. That's upsetting. That cobalt's... <laughs> that cobalt is much needed right now. Maybe we'll have luck at this uh, other artifact. Unknown oh, helix. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this vehicle is slip and slide. Go ahead, try to catch me. You guys don't know how to move very well. I just hope I don't slip and fall off this thing, because I've been known to do that. Oh, right. I need, I need to kill the core first. And there's a big ugly. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Slip and slide. Oh wow. Actually, hey, I know how to climb that thing very well. I don't want to get spat on. Oh, there's another one over there. Let's be careful. Ah! Damn it. Thermal burn. I hope I have the medication. Inside the ship, cure it. 
also need to shut down that core right now. There we go. Nothing should be able to spawn from it now. Do I have anything to kill or cure dermal burns? Um, that does your thermal burn. I had some. Oh wait, check my inventory. Thermal parasite radiation burn. Ha! Antibiotic. <gasps> good, good. Okay. So I had something. All right. So the base is now mine. To salvage. Enough space in the cargo bus. Yeah, it's getting tight. Oh, but it took it. I'm also probably being a dummy and should have looted the tank for fuel, so, uh, whoops. I should really. Remember to uh, first loot the tank, then salvage the tank. Oh! Uh, uh, ah! Gosh dang! The physics in this game are just... Oh, they... Oh! Alright! Come on! Oh, the physics in this game are so wonky weird. You slip and slide everywhere. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we struck it. Ah, of course. Full. Harvest container. Please take as much as you can. Ammunition controller. Take that. We did it. We finally struck cobalt and get. We can make the regulators. Ooh. Could have broken a leg there. Okay, where's home? Where's the base? It's probably in that batch of yellow. Yep. Uh, it's way over there. Well, this is going to be a mostly a long trip back to the base, and we're already going on to an hour. So we're probably going to have to cut it there as a uh, salvage episode. So, though, I uh, do hope that you enjoyed, and I do hope that uh, you'll uh, come back for some more, because I do plan on recording more whenever I've got the time to do so, but... What with uh, the enemies working as they should, and I have no fear that this game should hopefully work as intended, even after the update. So, I hope you have a good day, have a good night, and see you next episode.